I remember my childhood being a little bit, um, it wasn't always the happiest. It's so funny because my sister has very different memories of what happened. And then me and my siblings remember how we were kind of just surviving. There were definitely some times where you know, even food was a little bit of a challenge. I think the outside world was maybe a little bit more hard to deal with. I definitely felt very different. I went to school with a lot of beautiful children, but they happen to be more Caucasian and blue-eyed, blonde hair, beautiful. I didn't feel that I represented beauty. As I got older, I started to want to embrace myself. I was like, I really don't care what anybody else thinks, what they think. I used to go by Heidi as a child. We moved from Tennessee to Massachusetts and I felt like it was gonna be a new beginning for me. I changed my name, I went by Huda, cause that's my real name. I knew I was gonna to have to like, really go in deep and to embody this person, this Huda, this ethnic, brown, Middle Eastern girl. I was gonna to have to like really embrace that. It's so weird, but beauty attracted me to it because I wanted to feel beauty. I remember seeing like all these like celebrities on television and just thinking they were so glamorous and so beautiful. And originally, I mean, I also thought they looked happy <laughs> and I thought beauty might make me feel a sense of happiness. It isn't linked to happiness now, I know that, but, but definitely can feel very good when you're in the process of it and it can feel very empowering and it can definitely get you to, I think, a place that is definitely stronger. I've always struggled with my skin. I started really kind of breaking out really badly and I was about 19. Um, that's actually when I started wearing makeup on my face and so I felt like, you know, I needed to kind of get a handle of things. You know, growing up, we never got to go to salons. You know, I was always doing my own hair. So I was going to fix my own skin. I wasn't going to go to a derm. I was gonna do it myself. And so I felt like I wanted to kind of like learn about my own skin and, and understand it and kind of get it into a good place. I wanted to be like really, really, really gentle, but super effective. Like I wanna notice the difference from using a product. Our first product that we are launching is called Yo Glow. Um, and it's a little bit like, it's like, you know, your own glow or YOLO, but yo, you know, Yo Glow. Yo Glow is a very gentle, but very effective um, exfoliant. I've struggled with exfoliants like pretty much forever. Most of my breakouts would always happen because I was exfoliating too much or using an abrasive exfoliator. So for Yo Glow, this is a very natural, very soft um, exfoliator I actually use every single day. My view of beauty before was that some people had it and some people didn't. And that there were some things that you could do to mask it, but the truth is like, you know, I've learned that makeup is absolutely a tool to make you feel beautiful and it's gonna make you feel a certain emotion, but when you take that off, you're still the same person. You are that bad bitch you were when you had that red lipstick on or that vampy lipstick on. You are 100% that powerful person that you were when you had that smoky eye when you, when you took it off. You actually are more beautiful than you know. You know, you're beautiful enough. You just need to feel it. This has been a journey. I feel like um, I've been through, honestly, a lot over the last decade since I started Huda Beauty, since I started becoming a public persona. I've been through so much, whether it was cyberbullying and dealing with all of that and like walking into rooms and knowing people are just talking about you. I'm now learning that I actually, I'm okay. I can go into a situation and I can handle it. It started out like, you know, I was doing a lot of um, fillers, a lot of Botox. I do it once a month. Before I felt like I was doing too much fillers like I was doing fillers and it was like so much work and I just hated it. And so I started realizing that doing baby Botox, being very gradual with things was a much better take. Now I use Botox for instance, I don't use it for wrinkles. I use it to like raise my brows and to like soften my jawline. Um, I love um, or to soften my neck because sometimes there's too many muscles here. Sometimes it's intense. So this area in my family starts to sag. And so I've done a lot, whether it's Ulcera, whether it's threading, which I'm obsessed with, Botoxing to lighten this area, but the most invasive thing I ever did. <sighs> I can't believe I'm actually saying this on camera too. I can't believe I'm saying this. <sighs> so I actually once, and I'm still in the process of doing it, so we have to numb this area because it's a very painful process. But we go in and with a, with a small needle, my doctor actually rips the skin off of this muscle. And so I'm removing the skin off of the muscle. <laughs> so this way it stops to pull. But you can see I'm, it's really strong here. I used to get comments on my YouTube. People were like, you look like a nutcracker. And I was like, I do look like a nutcracker. <laughs> I've had my nose done. I've had my boobs done. Um, yeah, I've had a couple things, uh, you know, done here and there. I'm not afraid to talk about them just because um, 
If I'm a public figure talking about beauty, I almost feel like it's my responsibility. I'm happy that I feel comfortable enough talking about it, but I'm not gonna lie, the first time I said it, I felt uncomfortable. You know, I was like, I'm actually admitting this to the world. I almost feel like the people who are most confident probably don't need a following. They're probably really quiet, simple people. Before, when I first started my career, I was working from a place of wanting love, wanting like, you know, appreciation. Feelings that I probably wasn't feeling at the time. And the reality is that I needed to do that for myself first. Self-love is an interesting thing because I struggled with that over the past couple of years. I feel like last year I started to realize that I didn't love myself so much, you know? And at first, like saying it out loud was like awful. You know, just even admitting it to people, it was like, you don't love yourself? It's like there's something wrong with you. And the reality is I think a lot of people don't love themselves to the extent that they should. When you love yourself, when you feel good, when you fill your own cup, when you do something for yourself, it will fix all the relationships that you have in your life. Maybe I was mad at other people because of the way I felt about myself, which is tough. Oh my gosh, I try to teach her lessons every day. I think self-love and the way she feels about herself, her identity with herself is like first and foremost, the first place that I want to kind of you know, um, focus on with her. I want her to feel really good about herself because if she's trying to please other people, we all know, and the other person is gonna be upset. <laughs> you can't please everyone.